Oh, hey, welcome back to the lab. I'm Daddy Brad. Oh, and I'm Daddy Clay. And this week we're going to be pulling down a few titles from the Dad Lab's bookshelf. That's right. This week is all about books. Because the holidays are over, you've gotten your gifts, your tie rack, adjustable hammers, and of course those wonderful handcrafted homemade gifts. And among those, there may be a few gems. Oh, right. The gift card to the local mega bookstore. So here's some picks for some titles that are dad related that you might want to consider when you go on your gift card book buying spree. We've been hearing a lot lately about Daddy Lit. We think this refers to the spate of memoirs that have been coming out in the last couple of years from really good writers that are also dads. A good example? Crawling, A Father's First Year by Elisha Cooper. Like most of these books, great wit, funny stories, slices of life, biting, and sometimes even a little off-color or gross. In other words, we love it. Funny one, brought lots of laughs of recognitions from the dad here in Dad Labs. Similarly, Daddy Needs a Drink, funny stuff. Uh, episodic vignettes from a dad's life, almost like newspaper columns like the ones he writes for the newspapers in Santa Fe. Funny stuff. Now, we could go to the interview uh, that we shot with Rob, except we sent Daddy Brad to the airport to pick him up. So, we don't have an interview. Alternadat by Neil Pollock. Uh, now, this has become the foundational work for grupster or hipster parents. This is, again, funny, biting, caustic wit, um, how to balance your love for alternative music with also being a father. Now, fortunately, we had the king of all hipster parents, right here in the Dad Labs studio not too long ago. But, but I do think that there is, there is a desire not to sort of give in to sort of the cult of childhood that um, dom has dominated our culture for decades. Yeah. And so I think that this is a, to some extent, a pushback. Now guys aren't really into the whole self-help deal. Sure, a little rich dad, poor dad, or Jack Welch. But when it comes to bedroom and relationship stuff, ah, oh, I think I'd rather slam my balls in a sliding glass door. However, there are a couple of exceptions. Stacy Cockrell, Julia Stone, and Kathy O'Neill, the authors of Baby Proof in Your Marriage, they actually put in the dad's perspective here. And it's kind of funny. So guys will skip to the sex chapter? Is that, there, is that, is that guy M.O.? I think that's fair enough to I say think, yeah. so. Oh, I you? think so. And it, it explains what, how women feel about sex after we become mothers and what men can do to rekindle our interest and, and bring back the girl we used to be. Now, if you've watched a lot of dad laughs and you're ready for some real parenting advice, you might want to try Scream Free Parenting by Hal Runkle. This is kind of a down-to-earth perspective. It's humorous also. We dig this book. I sacrificed that by saying, you know what, your behavior is so bad that all of a sudden I have to act just as immature as you. Losing it. And then you blame the kid for that. Of course. You made me mad, like the Incredible Hulk. You had those torn purple shorts Purple shorts, on. yeah. Yeah, yeah, his underwear. So if nonfiction is your thing, you'll definitely want to pick up a copy of this book, Birth, The Surprising History of How We Are Born, by Tina Cassidy. I really enjoy this book. It's both personal and a very carefully researched work of fiction. I found that it gave me a whole new perspective, historical and social, on my experiences as a dad in the labor and delivery room. Great book. I also appreciated the chapter in here called A Father's Place that spotlights the work of Dr. Robert Bradley, the guy who brought you the birth classes. I also recommend Juliet Shore's book, Born to Buy, which I like so much that I, I gave it away. It's a really great book, sort of analyzing the commercialization of childhood. It will enrage you and you will never look at Big Bird the same way, but I highly recommend it. Then there's Filmmaking for Teens by, by Clay Nichols and Troy Lanier, Pulling Off Your Shorts. It's a filmmaking book that doesn't really Long here, but Troy wanted me to plug it, so uh, no making for teens. Hold out, dude. Feel a little dirty. Now, fiction has been kind of tough on dads. Yeah, historically, we haven't come off very well in this genre. I mean, nice dads just don't make for very compelling fictional narrative. Think great Santini. So give yourself a break and read something like, kind of like Michael Chabon's book, The Yiddish Policeman's Union. It's a wacky, hard-boiled mystery set in Alaska. Now, if you want something serious, and I can't believe I'm going to make this recommendation, but you probably ought to read The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Harrowing doesn't do justice to this 
meticulous and philosophical working through of every father's worst nightmare. This thing is tough, it's a train wreck, but you ought to read it. Oprah says so. Well, that should be just about enough to keep you busy reading during the actual 10 minutes that you have to read every day. So that'll about do it for us. Hey, here oh, at the hey guys. Hi. Hi. Oh, Heard oh, you guys are doing a little, little book thing. Yeah, we're filming. I mean, we're right in the middle of doing a bit. It's yeah. Like Monday. I was thinking we could, you know, recommend another book written by Owen Edgerton. It's a collection a, of short stories. Okay, it's, it's a dad book thing. Yeah. Okay, like, uh, yeah every character in here had a dad at one point. We're not, we're not just plugging our own stuff, okay? Oh, oh, really? Dads. Oh, really? Teen making for film? That's not plugging your own stuff? Is that all about how to be a good daddy? Just yeah. put, the, put the book on the stack. It's award winning. Did I tell you that? Did you win that award? No, I didn't. <laughs> Dude. If you have a dad related book that you really like, drop us a comment and let us know. <laughs> well, that's all for us here at the Deadline. Kick his little Welsh ass when the steak's done. How best to avoid dying? Stop smoking. Don't eat bacon. One evening I peeked from behind my curtain. Okay, don't, don't read Mary don't was read. so in the hem of the dress she was wearing. Yeah, don't oh, read. it's like Little Women. Yeah. Oh, first appeared in Red Book. <laughs> okay, all right. That's... She was alive when I went to sleep. Can you let Ew. people see the cover at least <laughs> so they can know what to buy on Amazon? Yeah.